According to a new breakdown of schools nationwide, Florida is ranked as one of the worst states for teachers. The study points to the profession as one of the lowest paying. At the same time, demands for student achievement continue to rise. But where can Florida start to make a change? ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo spoke with a few people today who say they have the answer. Dwayne. Well, Jacqueline Scott, get this. Florida ranks in the bottom five places for teachers to thrive. There are qualifiers such as pay, teacher-student ratio, but the bottom line for some, there needs to be some serious changes in legislation if it's going to get any better. <laughs> We've all seen the protests by teachers around the state and here on the Sun Coast asking for better pay. Help us! And an overall better environment. Retired teacher Linda Boone taught in Florida for more than four decades. She says although passing of the school tax referendum is helping boost teacher pay, she believes overall teaching conditions are getting worse. There's a lot of pressure because we can't control the way the students come to us, but we're supposed to sometimes work miracles with students that are far, far behind when they come. Boone says she believes part of the reason is a disconnect between lawmakers in Tallahassee and local teaching professionals. If they are making these mandates that are either expensive, um, impossible to meet, or a combination of both, it really makes it difficult to keep teachers in the classroom. They really need to take a look at education and, and dedicate themselves to it. I mean, that's not the case now, and I think that has to happen at the ballot boxes. They're more interested in offering charter schools and now vouchers, which take money away from the public schools. Executive Director of the Sarasota Classified Teachers Association, Barry Dubin, believes the Sarasota District is one of the best in Florida, but says it's still difficult to attract good teachers. People don't really feel they have much discretion anymore in the classrooms. It's really not a very good environment to be a teacher in anymore. And from my point of view, it's sad to see that most teachers I know don't want to see their own children go into teaching. I mean, that's just sad. Now, where gubernatorial candidates are concerned, DeSantis is looking to expand the state's private school voucher program, pledging to spend more money in classrooms. Why Gillum? The Democratic candidate is looking to use extra money for boosting teacher pay. Reporting live in Sarasota, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News. Dwayne, thank you.